in Bloomberg's China cabinet. That's the focus of tonight's angle. After Iowa's counting chaos and slim wins for Pete and Bernie in the first two nominating contests, and after Biden's campaign collapse, you can kind of feel things changing in the Democrat Party. You can feel it, and you can hear it. I'm talking about the murmurs for Mike, the banter for Bloomy. The big winner last night could be Mayor Bloomberg. Well, Bloomberg looks well positioned now to swoop in. He wasn't given his money like Donald Trump was. He earned it the old-fashioned way. It's done more to reduce violence, not only in his own city, uh, but cities across America, more than any single living person. Mike Bloomberg can win this campaign. Donald Trump knows it. He's afraid. Well, Bloomberg, in a way, is everything that they love. Where Trump is a proud nationalist, Bloomberg's a citizen of the world. He's a globalist from Manhattan who isn't phased by mass abortions, but agonizes over the climate. No matter what you think of climate change, that it really has a potential to destroy our world, which means stopping polluting and all of those kinds of things. If you want 32 ounces, take two cups to your seed. If you want 64, carry four. But our hope is if you only take one, you won't go back. Oh, this is going to be fun. What's not to like? Well, a lot, actually. And it's not just that he's bad on guns, bad on immigration, terrible on health care and our food choices. Bloomberg's really bad when it comes to our chief economic and military threat. I'm talking about China. In fact, he can't even bring himself to use the correct words to describe their government. The Communist Party wants to stay in power in China, and they listen to the public. When the public says, I can't breathe the air, Xi Jinping is not a dictator. He has to satisfy his constituents, or he's not going to survive. He's power. not a dictator? No, he has to. He has a constituency to answer to. No government survives without the will of the majority of its people. The idea that the Chinese government is responsive to sort of a, a democratic expression of fresh oh, air, come on, clean of course air. They are. <laughs> that in and of itself should tell us all he should never be president. They're responsive, the Chinese government? Oh, not to the people. Oh, to the dictatorship. Oh, OK, that makes it OK. Now, as he said this, remember, China was in the midst of a brutal suppressing of the pro-democracy demonstration in Hong Kong. And as we were just learning at the time, the true extent of China's vast array of concentration camps for those Uyghur Muslims. Bloomberg has been getting increasingly tight, though, with the Chinese for years. He loves their massive marketplace, and they love his money and influence in the United States. I first met him 15 years ago at a dinner in my house when he was the mayor of Beijing. Today, he is the most influential political figure in China and in the world. Please join me in welcoming the vice president of China, Wang Shishan. His gushing over China's vice president took place at the New Economy Forum that Bloomberg's company holds every year. Now, guess where they hosted this 2019 conference? Why, Beijing, of course, of course. I'm telling you, keep your eye on Bloomberg's business activities in China. They're actually increasing as he's running for president. Democrats m might not be asking any questions about this, but Newt Gingrich sure is. What percent of his fortune came from cutting deals with the uh, dictatorship in China? What share of the money he's going to spend to try to buy the presidency right. actually came from China because of his willingness uh, to be cozy with the dictatorship? While China was cheating at trade, stealing our intellectual property, and putting American companies out of business, Bloomberg was helping Beijing get richer and more powerful. The Washington Post is reporting Bloomberg, while showering praise on the Communist Party leaders, whose goodwill is required to play a role in the fast-growing market, led efforts since 2015 to make it easier for U.S. companies to trade in Chinese currency and expanded one of his company's financial indexes, which could steer $150 billion into China while earning his firm an undisclosed amount in fees. Oh, my friends. We're talking billions and billions of dollars in fees made in communist China. 
And here's a fun little fact. Bloomberg's operations rake in more money each year from China and Hong Kong than all of the businesses of the Trump Organization combined that they made in all of 2018. So with all of this, whom do you think China's rooting for in November? Do they want the current president, who's forced them to make concessions on trade, uh, the one who slapped tariffs on them? Or would they want the guy who will basically give them everything they want? Follow the tweets from the mayor's media company for any length of time, and you'll see it's constantly pushing a pro-China agenda. They've even been called out for spiking stories critical of Beijing over at Bloomberg. Look at this headline about the coronavirus from last week. China sacrifices a province to save the world from coronavirus. And this one. The U.S. charges a leading nanoscientist with lying about his work with the Thousand Talents program. Will China's most brilliant minds balk at coming to America? So. You get the idea. Now, it will be hilarious, but not completely surprising, if it ends up being Bloomberg versus Trump. Now, think about it. Democrats, the self-anointed champions of human rights, choosing a pro-China guy as their nominee? They're also supposedly pro-American worker. So how would it look to pick a guy who will just end up making it easier for companies here to ship jobs over there? And my goodness, how will it make the squad feel if their party runs one New York billionaire against another billionaire? The answer? Not well. It's physically impossible. The whole thing is a joke. You guys are crazy! This is simply a disruption and a distraction. You get the point. They're not going to be happy. And that's the angle.